expression. Guys, tell me. Um, when two applications want to communicate with each other and share data uh, over the internet, it's called integrations. Uh, yes, sir. we connect two different platform or two different applications through endpoint URI to exchange resource data, right? And there are two types of integration, inbound and outbound. Inbound means Let's suppose this is our uh, service now and other application is connecting to your service now instance to perform create, read, update, delete operation. OK. And when you are connecting to the another application from your from your instance, that will be the in outbound. Getting everyone. Yes. Services. See inbound. Yes, okay. Integration is what web services. Web services means we are connecting to the application and that application is providing us services. What service that is providing? We access the resource, right? Hello? Uh, yes, yes. So your inbound web services allow you to access and modify service now data using a client application. And outbound web service allow you to send soap and rest message to external web service providers. What does it mean? You will see. So this is our platform. I will say service now. Okay, and we have client application. Client application can be a browser also, okay? So inbound means this client application will send the request to access data from the ServiceNow platform. This will send Inbound. And what does outbound mean? Let's suppose we have another uh, platform, Jira. And using the service now platform, we are sending a request to this Jira platform. to access data. Now that will become outbound request, right? Hello? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. yes Nikhil. OK. But See here, in, we can achieve this using, there are two types of web service. 
available here. Rest and today we will discuss about rest. After that, we will discuss about soap. Okay. 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 See what is rest? As full form says that representational state transfer EPM. If you break down representational state transfer and application programming interface. Let's break down, okay? Rest stands for It transfer and I'm saying a application program. Hello, hello, yeah, what happened? You are not clearly audible. Your voice is breaking. Yes. I am audible. Ah, uh, uh, for me it's fine. I think so. There is some issue with their end. Because of the fan. No, no, at their end. For me, your voice is fine. Yeah. Okay. So if you break down this representation I mean, see, we have database which has a different uh, structure of representation, right, of data, right? You understood, right? This one inbound, outbound. Hello? Uh, yes, Nikki. Yes. On to be new, right? It's okay. So I will create a beautiful database. Okay, okay, this one. See, we have the database. And it contains table records. Okay. And the view is like this. Column one, column two, column three, okay. Field name. What in the UI? Okay. Uh, your can be anything. And this is your UI, and you are representing in different way. Getting like here is image, here is title, short description, rating, 
stars, number of people who read that particular thing. Okay, getting. So the Hello. representation. Hello. Yeah. I'm sorry for interruption, but your screen is not visible for me. For everyone. No, 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 it is, no, 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 it's shared. I think so. There is some issue with your end uh, due to network problem issue. I think so. Disconnect and reconnect, Ishali. Yes, I tried two to three times, but it is not feasible for me. Don't use anything. Just focus no, on call. Open the call. I share screenshot. Where have you gone? Internet is not working. Shushti, for you? It is visible. Okay, so here the representation is different, right? In the database, representation is different. In the front end, we are re representing in a different view. Same data we can represent in different ways. Right? Hello? Yes. Representational means same resource data resource we can different ways. So what is the state? What is state? Don't ask any questions. I'll have to mana. Oh, pras. Huh? What is the state, guys? Hello. What's the state? What is the state? State means. I don't know, means there can be various states. So transferring data from one state to another. State means nothing. Data. Data is state. State of the data, or you can simply understand just the data. Yeah. Data or resource. Data. See. We will from here. We will not uh, transform no. whole table to the uh, this application. We just transfer the uh, particular field values, right? State will not transfer the yeah. whole object. Getting everyone? Yes. We are just transferring the state of the data, not the whole table. Right. Otherwise, what will happen if I will transfer the whole table? If I can transfer the whole table object to here, I can directly call some methods and I can delete. I can perform anything from here, right? Without having permission directly. Hello? Getting or not? Yes. We are transferring the state, not the object. Actual object. Can you go? What? What can I do, bro? 
I found something. What does transfer mean? Exchanging of data. Exchanging data. So you understand, right? A representation of each data transfer means. And what is application programming interface? So see, we have, we have this rest representational state transformation thing and another is application programming interface we create interface to exchange resource over the internet to this http protocol right Getting, we create interface. Hello? 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 Yes, Nikhil. Yes, Nikhil. Yes, Nikhil. Are you getting? Hello? Yeah, yeah, I am getting. What is application programming interface? In application uh, programming, perhaps with the help of HTTP protocol, we can uh, exchange the data between two platforms. So we create interface to connect to the database to send receive data over the internet through HTTP protocol, right? Yes. So that is application. See for REST we create. This application programming interface means it's just the interface that allow you to connect two different application. Interface. That allow us to connect two different application okay everyone understood right yes nikhil Rich and api yes nikhil So you have to design what REST API. Each page. We can also say that REST is all about managing resources Yes or no? Managing resources yes, yes, means performing this CRUD, create, read, update, delete. Okay. 
and if I'll go here again, see, let's suppose this is the uh, just for example, list of contacts. List of contacts, okay. And I want to point this all contacts. And so we have a service node platform. Inside there is a database and there we have table contacts. So to get the information about the contacts using a REST API, I will design REST API, right? Then it will be like the end point will be like this. platform dot com whatever dot com slash for example I am writing like this contact uh, API slash contacts Let me write it again. I'm not able to do control Z Y. You can understood, right? HTTPS colon slash slash platform dot com slash API slash contacts. This is the URI. Uniform resource identification. This context is the identification of uh, this table records, contacts, table records. This is pointing to this table records. Getting everyone? Yes. Yes, so you contact the back end name, table back end name, yes. Yes. You want to. There are. Different methods. HTTP methods, OK. To access the resource, to update the resource, to delete the resource. Let's understand here. So first I'm designing an API to face the resources. In this case, the URI will be like this. abc.com is our service now platform API class and I'm pointing to the table contacts OK. So to face the records, what I will do, I will use one method get. Records. Second, I want to add the record. Colon slash slash ABC dot com API slash contact. So as you can notice here, we are fetching all the records, right? And they the here we are pointing contacts by writing. And here I have written contact only. Because I want to add one record. Everyone getting right what I'm trying to say. 
Hello? Yes. Yes, Nikhil. Yes, Nikhil. No, I want to update the records. Dot form API will be same. Contact. Only the what will be the what is the difference here? Post method only, right? URI is same. To update record. OK, so I'll create another. API, I will design another API slash API. Contact. And I will use patch. I will tell you the difference. This is also for to update. Record. OK. So in this case, if I want, I can add the parameter query parameter or path parameter. I can add the path parameter by saying contact ID specific. To update record. And I want to delete. Nikhil, delete what is the difference between put and patch? I will tell you, wait now. Just give me one minute. Delete to delete record. So we'll also discuss about path parameters and query parameters. See. I want to fetch records. I've used this URI, okay? And this contact is pointing to the resource. All the resources. I want to add the record. But where you want to add the record? We have the URI. By using that, we can pass the request body or payload. To add the record. So I want to update the record, OK? So using put method, I can do that. But the difference is that it performs offset operation. If you differentiate with this patch, offset operation. And it will not perform. Offset operation means I'm going to update the record, but the record which I'm going to update is not available in the database. In this case, what will happen? New record will be created using put method. OK, but using the patch method. If I will, if I'll go for to update, if the record will be not available. It will throw the error. For uh, with the status 404. Getting? Yes. That's why, see, it can perform offset operation. Offset means ups, update or insert. But using patch method, we cannot perform offset operation. It is the rule. If you forcefully design your API to perform offset operation using patch you can do but as per the standard we, we, we will not do okay hello yes Nikhil so you understand right what is the yeah, difference yeah. between put patch yeah. If someone will ask, you can directly answer this. It can perform offset operations and using patch, we cannot perform offset operation. Nothing to 
explain anything. If he will not understand, that's okay. If he will ask what is offset, you can say offset means update or insert. Delete, see for delete, we have to pass path parameters or you want to see where to pass path parameter, where to pass query parameter, we'll discuss. I want to delete the record, but which record? I'm pointing to the context. Let's keep it. I'm pointing to the specific record, right? Using this contact underscore ID. Hello? Yes, Nikhil. So always follow this standards, okay? When you are designing your scripted REST API, always follow this. See here we have pass path parameters. Here also we have pass path parameters. Okay, that is fine. I am pointing to the specific record. That's why I pass path parameter. But what about the query parameter? I will write the difference here. Path parameters. We will continue the session tomorrow also. Okay. One day we cannot complete everything. See variable in the path parameters. Helps in pointing towards specific resource, right? When I will talk about query parameters, so variable in the query parameters helps. To filter list of resources. Yes. See, query parameter we use to filter. Path parameter we use to point towards specific resources. Now you understood, right? Now you tell me, can I use path parameters in get method? Right now I'm accessing all the records. But I don't want that. I want to add the filter. Yeah, we can add. For example, this contact. In this case, see, you have to add this question mark. That is another difference. And what I am saying is that I want. Okay. 20 records. And. Offset. From. Um, okay, five. So you, what is the difference between limit and offset? Just tell me, come on. Limit is nothing but a number of records going to return. Offset is nothing but a starting point of a number of records that are going to return. Yes, nice. You are the champ group. Starting point. Yeah. 
limit how many records you want that we can specify right hello yes yes nikha so when we perform this get post put batch delete operation we get status would what is the use of that status code it helps us to know whether the data that has been sent or we have received for the operation we are trying to perform has been successful uh, nothing but to know about the status of our operation yes to know what happened with our uh, operation right data code help us to understand what has happened with our request right so we can categorize the error and success status so this is the success right start from 200 300 if you go redirection status 400 if you will go then it is it says that client side error if you will talk about 500 server side error right you all know this right you know right everyone yes you know this 100 is for information yes which one is informational 100 100 yeah nice you want i don't know about <laughs> okay so when you receive uh, this status when you get this 200 it means that uh, let's suppose you are creating the resource or updating the resource when you get the response it will return most of the details okay it say res resource has been updated slash uh, created over and it can return all informations we can say as a response but when it is returning is 201 status
However, it will return few details. OK. Can be one or two. For example, when you are creating a contact name, email, phone number, OK, address and you get this status 200 and it has returned the same name, email, phone number, address, all. But when you are receiving 200 ones, it has returned only the email. Understood, right? Hello? Yes, Nikhil. Yes, Nikhil. Yes, Nikhil. OK, 400, you know. Called with client side. For example, your email is not invalid. The format is not valid. The way you have sent. An invalid headers. Yes. Invalid request payload or headers. Right? Shristi? Yes. We have 409 also. These are common, that's why I'm telling to you. Conflict response. Uh, you are creating the record, but using that particular email or number record has already created. Then it will show this 409 conflict status. Means entity. You are creating. Already. Exists in the system. System. Okay. The 404 is common. Not found error, just a not found error. Right. These are basic status. You should know about this. So you tell me when we use put method, will we get this 409 status? You will get. Why we will get Manoj? If, uh, if we create a same uh, resource from the same uh, ID, Using then put method, I said. Method, but the ID should be different. Using put method, okay. You okay. will you get this error 409? That entity I think by using ID. patch patch method, it will get patch method. Why patch is used to update, put is used to update. How come you get this error using patch method? In put, we can also insert. And we can also update. Update, update. That's why we get. No. See, 409 we can get using post method because when you try to create the same record again, it can throw this error. 409 using 490 status. Yeah, Nikhil. How are you saying put over here? You didn't listen what I said about the put. It can perform offset operation. If you use put method and if record will be already available, it will update that record. 
If not available, it will insert the record. But using put method, you will not receive this error. Okay, next. So you understood, right? Yeah, yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. Another question is that C. Can you get this not found error using put method? I will ask to um, Susti. Yes. Yes. Can you I know what was the Can you repeat the question? Using put method. Can you get this 404 error using put method? No, because it will only update. Not found. Can we when we can get this status with error? Using which method? Tell me. You can Delete. tell. Me. Yes, delete and another. Patch. Yes, because if you try to update the record using patch method, if that record is not available, it will throw this error, right? Not found error. Yeah. And if you try to delete also, if that record is not available, it can throw this error 404. And another question they will ask that what is the default support request response format in service now? Using REST, what all format we can exchange? Data. Manu, format and XML format. Only XML? Yes, and yes, yes, yes. Application JSON, application XML, text XML. But using SOAP web service, we can only pass JSON, not JSON XML. XML, XML, yeah. Yeah. See, I will. I have. So you understood, right? What is raised? What is this status means? Methods. Yes, yes. So I will show you one thing here. What is header? In header, we can pass the information what type of data we want after doing the information and what type of data are uh, I am trying to create in the application. Yes, headers are part of the request which is used to exchange metadata with respect to request, right? Yes, thank you. We doesn't have anything to deal with resources. We just use with the request. Like what type of content we want? OK, what type of content? What type of content language we can understand? And we can also pass the authorization token. We can also receive the expires in okay headers 
from the server which basically says that you have this token and this token will be expire in this date there are lot more okay or when somebody will ask what is http headers where is ali Uh, she has network issue. I'm not sure about Lakshmi. Why is she not joining this call? Okay. No, you will be the pro, okay, to explain about rich and headers status. Yes or no? Yes, yes. Okay, I will ask you the same question on Monday, Manoj. Part of Which question. Yes, related to the rest. Okay, Nikhil. You have to exchange metadata. respect to the request and see which doesn't have anything to do with the resources okay headers will not do anything with database resource right yes sir yes sir for authorization, it will add the information about token. That's it. So based on this example, I will show you. You just go and create by yourself. Post that we will learn about uh, how to handle errors. Okay, in REST API. So today I will show you the API which I have created. You have also learned about the transform. Uh, yes. What? Import set rule. Mm, yes, data source. Transform map. Data source name will be.
you can also see data transformation. Don't say data source, okay, individual. Today I'm just talking about uh, designing, not about credentials. Okay, don't worry about that. Okay. Manu, think about credentials. Ka to baat hi nahi. Kaise access karenge? Ah, nahi. Wo pehle pehle kya bhi diye? Pehle class mein. भाई इसमें कोई भी बटन कुछ भी काम कर रहा है क्या हुआ व्हाट हैपेंड मोहम्मद नथिंग नथिंग See, you type your web service, system web services. We have raised We have so. And this is so. Web services and there is REST also and scripted REST API and other. Have you walked on GraphQL before? If you'll explore, it would be better. Yeah, okay. okay. But if you'll explore, okay. It will be better, okay. GraphQL. See, getting started will open this documentation. You can check this. You don't have to check this. I am here. So under this, you could see this scripted REST API, right? Scripted web services, scripted REST APIs. Because yes, I have to can. create my own API. 
and I have this table called contact. Contact book. Showing here that it be strict contact. Okay, this is see when you create the table by default, it creates an API for your table. You can see right contact for this table. If you want to create your own, you can also create. So this is the API ID contact book. And this is the API path. And this is the name space generated from uh, glide dot app creator system property. Last time we have discussed, right? Manoj? Yes, you See, we have default ACL. When you create, it will automatically attach to your script address service. Let me open this. What type of ACL it is? See, operation execute. Okay. And this is the name. And if you want to create your own, you can create ACL. Means user who will have this SNC internal role can perform, uh, can use this API. Okay. REST API. Yes, thank you. We have created put, post, delete, gate, gate, patch. Uh, let me open this. Uh, this tool. See the path I have mentioned like this. Slash contact slash contact ID. And if I will go for fetch all contact, the resource path is same. Only difference you can see here is that I want to fetch only one record. That's why I've used this dynamic path parameter. Getting everyone? I want to fetch only one record. Definitely. To the ID of contact. Yes. So if you are using the path parameter using the get method, that means you want to access only one record. Specific record, okay? That's why I see. In the script, to access the contact ID, we have to uh, write like this request dot path params dot contact ID. It should be same as this contact ID. And I'm just doing the glide record. You all know, right? Yes, Nikhil. 
कैसे लिखेंगे So I am just returning the status. See, this is not the way to return the status, but is, if your API will be pass, it will return the 200 on the by default. And I'm returning all the details, name, email, phone, address, for the specific record, okay? With the status 200. You can set the status like this. Response dot set status to one date and you can set the response dot set body, but here we can directly return the value like this. Okay. Yes, Nikhil. You can return your string, XML, JSON type, all of that. But using this contact ID, if you will not found the record, see response that set is status 404 and go to the definition. Show document is. Scripted REST API error checked. API examples. Samples. This is out of the box. Script include API, okay. The service now wave service error. When you are doing error handling using REST API, always prefer to use Hello, Nikhil. Yeah. I have one doubt. So, I don't think in REST API. Yeah. Tell in me. REST API, the name is also API. And okay. uh, in the classes, whatever the method present there, we also call mm -hmm. that method as an API. So, what is the difference between that API and the REST API? What API? So, the method present in the API classes under API classes and guide classes. Yeah. So we also called them API and also we called REST API as API. So what is the main difference? Between it's why a representational state transformation. I just explained, right? What is API? I know this one, interface. but why we call method as API? We don't call method as API when you create a script include, okay, whole class. Yeah. That we call API. Whole class, why? Why the name of the whole class is API? Why? 
what does it mean? application programming interface yeah we have created the script include by writing some codes to perform some operation and to okay. access that we can create the object that's why it is api okay no, you can direct you cannot directly access right you have to create the object oh, but using glide glide api we can access some data from the database Okay, we perform glide record operation. Okay, using glide record class. Mm, class methods. So that glide record, in glide record we pass the table name, and that glide record will link to the that table. Okay. That is linking right with the yeah, table. Yeah. That's why it in is this, API. Okay, in in this in this case also we are connecting some other application. That's why. Yes, you are connecting to the database. You are uh, connecting to the script to perform some operation. OK. See, interface allow us to connect to different application. Yeah, yeah, Nick. question. The documentation. Uh, wait, wait, wait. There is a custom error. From that you will understand. So this is the service error. Okay. What you can you can use this service. This is out of the box. Service no wave service error handling. API. Yes, Nikhil. Okay. And you can set the status, you can set the message, you can set the detail, and this object you can pass to the response that set error method. This object, error object. Okay. So let's me easy. We'll discuss about this later. Just understand first. So here we are fetching all the contacts. Okay, so slash contact. And here you don't have to specify the query parameters here in the relative path. What you can do, if you scroll down below, there is a query par parameter association. Okay, you can create a new query parameter from here. So we have created API query parameter. This is the this is your API resource. And when you create to last for API definition. You can uh, see you are not able to select here, right? You can directly type, it will show here. Offset and in the script, you can use like this request.query params. Okay. Hello? Yes, Nick. I will not explain you about the glide record query. You, you already have learned about that. Right. This things that you want to access this request path parameters. 
to type equish dot path e a r a m s and if you want to access query parameter you have to type equish dot query params and if you want to handle the errors handle list errors you can create object of asin underscore ws error new dot service error if you are creating a custom else there is a other a classes for bad request and in, in the constructor you can directly pass the message error message and we have conflict error you all understanding right you all getting yes nikhil you have to use this first dot and what else conflict error bad request and not found error right it is very easy to uh, very easy to remember this not found error means what 400 four right conflict error means what 409 bad request means srushti bad request Four hundred. Four hundred, right? Awesome. So in this case, you don't have to set the status. You can directly pass this object to response dot set error. Okay, if you feel that okay, it's an error, then you can pass this object. Right. And this is for your own. If you are creating your own status, you are setting your own type of status. Okay, own type of error. You can utilize this. custom errors okay this case and it has this method set status it uh, details set message Post that you have to pass this object to the response that set error method. Response dot set error method. In right here, you can pass this object. Set status code number. Set details. It can be anything. Message. 
object or whatever string object whatever you can you can pass anything okay str object you can pass uh, i think number also Hope you understood, right? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. If you can understand this thing, your life will be easier for rest integration in service now. So you can see here we have ACL content negotiation. What is this? Default supported format request formats. They can ask this question, right? What is the default supported request formats? You can see application JSON, XML, test XML. If you want to overwrite, what you can do, you can check this and you can add other type of formats also. ABC dash d okay hello yes yes and what is this documentation tab you can specify about your service here and you can uh, you can copy link like this let me copy this That is okay. Now I want to use this. See here we have explore REST API. In the service now we have feature to test the rest api existing api okay see so our name space is this one right six four seven one six four i've selected this and in the name space we have only one api contact book And you can check all the resource we have created here. This one here, right? So what I will do, I will pass the offset to and I want the two records. Three records from the offset to. And I let me test. See, it is re returning, right? Yes. Three records. But you have to write the script for this. In delete, suppose how I've created. Now, when you pass data, you can access the JSON object payload request.body.data using this method, okay? And from, from here, hit new contact post. You can type the raw JSON name abc email abc at the rate gmail.com else what you can do 
you don't want to write like this just in the field here what else contact address PVC town. Uh, name, email, contact body. We can access here using request.body.data. And from here, you can see request body that email. It should be same as this key name, email, contact, address. OK. Hello. Yes. And here you, can, here you can see that 409. Yes, what I'm checking is that using that email, which I am going to create is already exists then through this error. State status 409. And conflict error, right? Yeah, Nikhil, yeah. So the conflict error. Else we will create the record and see your 201 means only one detail email I am responding. Okay. Recent. See, created. Okay, email null. E M A I L. We'll see later. Maybe this is because see, you and I score email by I have written the wrong because the back end field name is you and I score email. Okay. Tool and check about uh, this port. See what I'm doing here. First, I am checking that using the same email, I'm going to update. If using this email record is available, do the update. Another thing is that when you use the put method, you have to pass all the field values, not the specific which you want to update. Setting, hello? Yes. Yes, the reason, is that, the reason is that if the record will be not available, then we have to create. Okay. That's why we have to pass all the field values using put method. See if the record is available, it will update. Contact dot update. Status 201 because only I am sending one detail, email only. Set body you can see right. And if not available, let's create record. So I have initialized the same object, this one again. I'm setting the value. I'm performing the insert operation. Set status 201 and responding using the set body method. Understood, right? Yes. Yeah, here I haven't used any query parameter, path parameter. Uh, don't ask why again. Manus, but how why? I haven't passed query parameter, path parameter using put method. Yes, so what, what the error 
will get no 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 why i haven't passed the path parameter or query parameter using put method http method okay yeah. in put method we are we have to create the resources uh, so we don't want to filter any resources that's why we, we don't have to pass query parameter no no Moment, you tell me why I haven't passed query parameter path parameter here. Hello. Yeah, tell me. Using put method. OK. Yeah. I haven't specified the path parameters or query parameter. Why? Path parameter. Yeah. I was... Reason is C. Using post or put. Post will use to create the record. Put will use to create record or update the record. Both. Okay. Put can perform update or insert both operations. In this case, you have to pass all things in the body only, not the path parameter or query parameter. Query parameter is used to filter the list of resources. Path parameter used to point towards a specific resource. So do we have to point a specific resource here using put method? No. No, right? Why to point a specific? record because if the record will be not available it will create if it will be available it will update right yes, yes. but in patch i will pass path parameter why Because we only update in by using patch. You yeah, will do perform will perform update operation, for but a, why we are passing this? For a specific, for a specific particular, thing. yes, for hmm. specific record. That's why I have passed this, right? Yes. And if the record will not found, it will throw what error? Four zero four. Yes not found error right yeah. you are the champ rusty sab samajh mein aa gaya haa samajh raha hai in delete using delete method also see we have to specify path parameter why Because we have to delete a specific resources there. Yes, we have to point the specific record, right? Yes. When you are creating a dynamic, then use this curly bracket and con contact underscore ID. Okay. It can be anything, contact ID, user ID. If record will not found, it will also throw 404 invalid contact ID. It will found, it will delete, right? Yes. What does it mean? It requires authentication. Yes, means this resource requires authentication to access requires ECL authorization based on this requires ACNC internal rule, right? Easy to read. Isko samaj ke ya, isko pad ke hi samaj me aajana chahi, right? Yes. 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 Okay. 
So hope you understood right how to design REST API, custom REST API. Yes. And design yes. your okay, design yourself as same as I have designed contact book. Okay. Try by yourself. And do the proper validation using this service error. API, okay. okay. In tomorrow, we will learn about accessing resource. Today, we have learned about what is REST, how can we design REST, what all methods we can use, what is the difference between path parameter, query parameter, about status codes, okay, how to handle errors. What are HTTP headers? But till now we haven't used any HTTP headers, but we'll use tomorrow or after tomorrow. Okay. Okay, Nikhil. Okay, Nikhil. Okay, Nikhil. Okay, Nikhil. Okay, Nikhil. okay then. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.